Hey you guys, I know you're probably wondering why my hair looks really crazy right now. Um, I'm getting ready to flat iron my hair. This isn't something that I do often and I don't really like to do it, but every once in a while, you know, you gotta change things up. I think probably the only downside to having curly hair like this is that you, there aren't a whole lot of things you can do with it. So, um, I just do this every once in a while just to see what it looks like. You know, um, there are a few things that you're going to need if you want to do this. Number one thing, obviously, being a flat iron. Um, this is a Remington Wet to Style. This isn't the best. I actually bought this back when I had relaxed hair, and it worked a lot better for me back then. So I need a new one, but I kind of don't want to invest in one because I don't straighten my hair enough to get another one. So um, the next thing you're going to need is some kind of heat protectant smoothing serum. You're going to need a hair serum. I am using Chi Soul Confusion right now. Sometimes I use, you know, Paul Mitchell Skinny, I think it's called Skinny Smooth Serum or something like that. It's a lot cheaper, but um, yeah, this works great and it makes my hair, it makes it not only straight, it helps it to get it flat. I know, I remember back when I had relaxed hair, I had a problem with, um, I could, my hair was always straight, but I couldn't get it flat. It was just straight and puffy. This gets your hair straight and flat, so that's what I want. Probably the most important thing you could use is a heat protectant. I just use Tresemme. This is their heat tamer spray. I love Tresemme's products. I highly recommend them. I see no reason in spending a lot of money on a heat protectant. You know, so I highly recommend that. The next thing I'm going to recommend for you is um, alligator clips. Alligator clips. I have them in a bunch of different colors. Um, I get these from Sally's. They're cheap. You know, I use these all the time. Whenever I dye my hair, I always use these. These are a good investment. Um, the next thing you're going to need, obviously, is your hairbrush of choice. Okay? And a rat tail comb. Okay, so what I did is I sectioned my hair into several pieces using the alligator clips. They're just kind of messy. It's not even or symmetrical. It doesn't have to be. I'm not a professional and I'm not claiming to be. So what I did with this piece of hair, I left the very back down because I'm going to, I like to start from the back to the front. And um, I just used my brush. I'm going to brush out this section, try to get out all the tangles. Okay, I'm going to spray it with heat protectant. Okay, make sure that's evenly distributed. That's probably too much. I probably don't even need that much. And I'm going to use some Chi Silk Infusion, some serum. Now, I just want to make sure this really coats my ends well, too. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to brush this, actually, one more time. Okay. Rat tail comb. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rat tail comb. I'm going to start up here at the roots. I hope you can see this. And move, as I move down, okay. Do it one more time. Basically, as close as you... You want to start the comb right below where you're going to start your flat iron. Okay. So I'm going to take my flat iron. I don't like to flat iron my hair very close to the roots. And I'm pulling the hair taut. I'm pulling it taut. So that the flat iron goes right over the hair. Sorry I had to cut that. My camera um, cut it short, but this is what the final piece of hair looks like. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this process and, you know, show you what it looks There's like. There's one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, because of my hair type, I am using an oil sheen. This is by Care Care. Um, it has a humidity blocker in it. I try to stay away from products with mineral oil in it, but I really can't think of anything else that would help tame this at this point. Hey guys, so this is the final, final product. Um, 
I did curl it because it wasn't completely straight and it looked kind of weird so I figured if I added some some curls to it it would kind of balance out the curliness in my roots a little bit so um, I used a one and a half inch Conair curling iron and I totally have pageant hair right now but I didn't try to get to look like that that's just how it came out I'm not a hair person but um yeah so thank you for watching rate comment subscribe Bye. <laughs>